What's up everybody? Welcome back to my channel and today we're going to be doing something a little bit different and when I say something a little bit different I'm talking about a TV review. I have not done a TV review on this channel ever. This is going to be my first one. I have done monitor reviews but I felt like this one is going to be good. This is the LG G4 65 inch OLED TV. Now as far as what kind of review this is going to be, this is just going to be what I've experienced so far in the last four weeks of owning this TV. It's not going to be one of those crazy detailed videos where I'm going to have tools, test brightness. I just want to give you guys the experience I've had using this TV um, and since this is a PC computer channel that's why I'm tailoring it towards PC gaming. We'll talk about build quality, panel, uh, colors, brightness, um, just all that input stuff. We're going to talk about all that but I just wanted to make this video because if you're on the fence of going like not the traditional route in, in a sense of buying a monitor and you want to get a TV, I'll tell you this LG G4 TV for PC gaming is absolutely beautiful. A lot of good things to say about this and a few things that I wish LG would have done to improve it. But nonetheless, we're going to talk about that. And here's a video from today's sponsor, Intel. Intel decided to sponsor this video because it is Intel Gamer Days and we have 21 days of exclusive deals on gaming hardware, accessories, and games. And this year, they partnered up with one special company. That's right, Bill Redux has partnered up with Intel Gamer Days this year and they sent this PC over for us to check out. So let's just do that right about now. We got an Intel Core i7 14700KF processor, RTX 4080 Super, an MSI B760 D4 series motherboard, 32 gigabytes of DDR4 dual channel memory, 850 watt 80 plus gold power supply, and one terabyte NVMe storage. Now that's not all because you do get a copy of Assassin's Creed Shadows with a purchase of a qualifying system and you get free shipping on Build Redux systems during these Intel Gamer Days. I've used Build Redux in the past and the fact that it's got the latest Intel Core i7 processor plus an RTX 4080 Super makes it one of the world's most advanced PCs delivering the best experience for gamers. Now this is a deal worth celebrating so make sure you don't miss out on this epic offer only at Intel Gamer Days 2024. So in this video, we're gonna pretty much dive deep into its design, its key features, and most importantly, how it performs for gaming. Now, if you're a gamer and you're looking for a top tier TV, especially PC gaming, and you wanna change it up from a monitor to a TV, this might be the one for you, and I'm gonna tell you why. So let's start out with the design. Now, this, the LG G4, it continues LG's tradition of pretty much creating beautifully designed TVs, okay? It features a very slim bezel. I mean, I feel like this C9 was a little bit slimmer, but this one is pretty slim as well. It's super thin chassis. It makes it almost disappear into your wall, like you guys can see. I already attach mine to the wall um, and, and when it's mounted it just looks really sleek it looks modern and it blends seamlessly into any room now I do have some uh, panels here on the wall so it kind of matches it now if you're not a wall mounting person it does come with a stand also LG went with a smaller minimalist stand for those that you know would like something not too much in your face uh, which this model it does have a very nice stand and it's very functional. Now let's talk about the web OS because that's this platform it uses and it's pretty friendly experience. Now the interface is pretty straightforward and intuitive, making it easy to find your favorite apps and content. Now one unique feature is the motion controlled remote, which I actually love since the C9. It works like a Wii remote. If you're familiar with that, you point click using the cursor on the screen and it's fun for some, but if you prefer traditional controls, you can disable that motion and just navigate using the directional pad. The home screen is pretty clean and minimal and you can customize it by turning off content recommendations, which I did, but if you want, you can always leave it on. And the settings menu is pretty comprehensive, allowing you to tweak pretty much everything from picture settings to gaming options. While there is a slight lag in response when navigating deeper menus, but once you're set up your preference, you'll like find the systems really easy to use. Now let's get into something that will excite all PC gamers out there, and that is its 144 hertz refresh rate. So while the LG G4 is already impressive with its 120 hertz refresh rate for consoles, it does go a step further with its 144 hertz support, especially when connected to a PC. Now this 
Higher refresh rate pretty much translates to a smoother gameplay. It does reduce motion blur and it makes fast movements pretty much look really fluid. Whether you're into fast paced shooters, racing games, or competitive esports, the higher refresh rate can give you a noticeable advantage. And let me tell you, the low input lag combined with the instant pixel response of OLED means every action pretty much feels immediate and precise. Picture quality. Now this is my favorite because picture quality is where the LG G4 excels. With its OLED technology, you get perfect blacks and an infinity contrast ratio, which pretty much means movies and games will look incredibly realistic and immersive. Colors are bright and vibrant, yet natural, avoiding that oversaturation that you might see on QD OLEDs. The G4 also offers an excellent viewing angle, so everyone in the room that's watching the game can have a nice seat in the house. It also supports major HDR formats, including Dolby Vision, which adjusts settings dynamically to ensure you're getting the best picture for each scene. And brightness levels can actually reach up to 3000 nits, making HDR content pop even in bright rooms that's why i went with the lg g4 just because of that brightness level since i am in a very lit room so it's really hard to beat and that's why i chose this over the c4 so gamers this is where the lg g4 truly shines because it supports g-sync and free sync so it ensures pretty much smooth tear-free gameplay no matter how intense the action gets thanks to its hdmi 2.1 you can enjoy 4k gaming at 120 hertz delivering fluid motion and fast response time. Now, what's more, like I mentioned, it supports 144 hertz for PC gaming, which pushes the boundaries even further for smoother and more responsive gameplay. This is a game changer, folks, because I don't know any TV that supports 144 hertz natively on G-Sync, where milliseconds count. So whether you're diving into fast-paced shooters or exploring vast open worlds, the G4 delivers exceptional clarity and responsiveness. And with OLED's instantaneous pixel response, there's virtually no lag or ghosting, giving you a pretty much competitive edge. HDR content on the LG G4 looks nothing short of spectacular. Let me tell you guys, with its ability to reach up to 3000 nits, it handles both bright and dark scenes with incredible detail. The micro lens array technology on here, which is only offered on G4 models, is just beautiful. And the deep blacks that make OLED so appealing just look great as well. So let's break down the pros and the cons. Now, pros, stunning visuals, without a doubt. Low input lag, HDMI 2.1 all four ports with 144 hertz on pc now as far as the cons it's just i feel like it's a little bit too pricey and usually now everybody is kind of still scared of oled burn-ins i personally never had a burn-in but you know with today's technology and how we're moving forward with oleds i feel like they've done a really good job to mitigate any kind of burn-ins on this television but again, it's always gonna be there as far as a risk when you're getting into OLED. But other than that, I mean, the TV is fantastic. And that does it for today's video on the LG G4 TV review. Again, I, I don't do TV reviews, but I thought because you can use this on PC gaming, it's got 144 Hertz. I think it was perfect to kind of make a video on it just to help somebody out if they're on the fence of purchasing it. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Let me know in the comments down below if you guys have one or you're thinking about buying one. And if you think about buying one, let me know what size you're going for, okay? I would love to know. Make sure you guys stay tuned for more content coming your way. Hit that follow button and that bell to be notified when I do come out with more content. It helps me a lot, guys. And until next time, I will catch you on the next one.